Hey, I'm not so a strainer, and is it too soon for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? Let's get into it! When Gen 9 was announced as coming out later this year, the question posed was, isn't it too soon? But quickly it was replaced with, will Sprigatito become a bipedal Pokemon? I want to go back now to that first question and answer it with yes and no. You might be confused, but let me explain. Basically, is it too soon to get a new mainline Pokemon game after we just got two of them? Yes, it absolutely is, there's no reason for that, except profit of course. But is it too soon in terms of the game coming out better or worse than the last ones? I don't think so. Game Freak, for all the hate they get, have been clearly improving and trying new things since the release of Pokemon Let's Go on the Switch in 2018. We've never seen so much innovation in so little time. Let's Go was a fun, relaxing experience with motion control serving as the main catch of the game. Sword and Shield made sure that everyone could get into VGC and play online, giving us our first glimpse of what an open world Pokemon game could look like, and it also introduced DLC, saving us from a full game with only a slightly different ending. And Pokemon Legends Arceus showed us a completely different formula for Pokemon and absolutely worked. Now, Gen 9 will go fully open world and while it still looks a little bit rough around the edges, it can improve a lot in little time, like we've seen in Pokemon Legends Arcus in 2021. Another thing we need to remember is that Game Freak's team has been growing larger each and every year, currently with 167 employees, I believe. For comparison, in Gen 7 they had 108. It might not seem like much of a growth or like not much of a team, but for a company that's so tight, it is huge. Also, there is one thing that I don't think needs any improvement at all, and those are the Pokemon models. I don't think I've ever seen Pokemon look this great. Oh wait, I, yes I have. New Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Tournament are, to me, the best Pokemon I've ever looked for a 3D game, and I can't help to see the similarities between both of them and Gen 9, not only in the Pokemon models, but also on the character models. We know from Bandai itself that they got the new Pokemon Snap gig because of their work in Pokémon. Despite the support for the game having been so limited, they got the recognition they deserved. And this makes me ask the question, could they have a part in Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet? We know Game Freak rarely works alone, with employees from, for example, Monolith Soft having helped in not only Sword and Shield but also Pokémon Legends Arceus, probably through their Art Asset branch. This makes me think that after the well-received Pokémon leading to the well-received new Pokémon Snap, the next invitation sent to Bandai Namco could easily have been to assist in Gen 9. Another thing is that through the datamine of Switch Sports, we learned that Nintendo will use AMD upscaling technology in that game, making it look and perform better on bigger screens, and we can assume that more games will have it, as Nintendo continues to find ways to compete with Sony and Microsoft without dropping a new console or an upgrade. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet are games that I can see making use of this technology with Game Freak and its partners, be them Bandai or not, making this game look as good as possible for what could be Pokemon's last title in the current system. And that's why I believe that, yes, it is too soon to get a new Pokemon game, it is too soon to get a new Pokemon generation, but in terms of the quality of Gen 9 being less than that of Gen 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and so on and so forth, I don't think so. In fact, I think in terms of just graphics, this might end up being the game that finally gives us the graphics that we've been waiting for all along. But what about you? How do you feel about Gen 9 coming out later this year? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, before I go, let me thank my Twitch viewer Lazarix for claiming the shoutout for this video, thank you so much for all of your support. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. You can follow me on social media and Twitch, I stream there Wednesday to Sunday, not Saturday or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.